Well, hello. Welcome to Rolette Real Estate School's Student Resources. I'm Captain Wayne Rolette. In this second video of Legal Description Series, we will introduce to you the Government Survey System, Ranges, and Township Tiers. For many students, the legal description of land is difficult to understand. Rolette Real Estate School has developed an easy to understand visual presentation series that shows the step-by-step -step construction of legal description. So let's get started. This slide is where we left off on our previous video. So this is where we're going to pick it up. The grid system is used in Florida and in most of the United States except for 13 states. Florida's principal meridian is a north-south line that runs through a monument located in the city of Tallahassee, Florida. In fact, there is a street that runs north and south right past the Florida State House in Tallahassee that's named Meridian Street. And that monument sits right on the State House lawn. Florida's baseline runs east and west through that same monument. To create the grid system, surveyors established vertical north and south range lines parallel to the principal meridian every six miles apart. The six mile wide north and south strip of land between two vertical range lines is the range. Each range is numbered beginning at the principal meridian and the first vertical north-south strip of land east of the principal meridian is range 1 east or R1E. The range numbers increase by one as you move further away from the principal meridian. The next range east of the principal meridian is R2E and then R3E and so on. First range west of the principal meridian is R1W then R2W and so on. The surveyors also established horizontal east and west township lines uh, parallel to the baseline every six miles resulting in a series of lines six miles apart on either side of the baseline. Each of these six mile wide horizontal strips of land on either side of the baseline is called a township tier. To help you remember township tiers are horizontal strips think of the tiers of a wedding cake. Or another way to remember would be using a T with an arrow, township lines, and using uh, the back of the R as range lines. So township and range lines. Each township tier is numbered beginning at the baseline. The first horizontal east and west strip of land north of the baseline is numbered Township 1 North or T1N. The township line numbers increase by one moving further away from the baseline. For example, after T1 North, the next township tier north of the baseline is T2 North, then T3 North, and so on. Numbering also begins with 1 South of the baseline, the first number south of the baseline is T1 south, then T2 south, and then T3 south, and so on. The grid pattern is formed by crossing of range lines and township lines, producing a series of squares, six miles by six miles, called townships. A township contains 36 square miles. Six times six is 36. Note that the term township has two meanings. In addition to being an east-west strip of land on either side of the baseline, it, the term also refers to the actual square itself that is formed by the intersection of two range lines and two township lines. Each 36 square mile township is six miles by six miles and is identified by a strip of townships called a township tier and a range in which it is located. The description of the township located due east of T3 North R2W is T3 North and R1W. 
the township is numbered beginning at the baseline and increases by one number north and south the range is numbered beginning at the principal meridian and increases by one number east and west pause the video and locate the townships numbered t2 north r2 east and t3 south and r1 west i'll give you a moment if you want to go ahead and pause it and try to find that well here's the answer and I hope you was able to find that all right pause the video and draw a grid if you need to what township is located one tier north and two ranges west of T2 North and R3W. All right, here we go. It's T3 North and R5W. Of course, it kind of went off our grid here, but if you draw the grid out or just done some addition, in your mind you may have been able to get this I'm going to give you a memory tip on how to remember how many square feet are in one acre on a scratch sheet draw a comma and from that comma on the left side of the comma write the number three then move further to the left and write the number four so that gives us forty three thousand and on the other side, on the right-hand side of the comma, write the number 5, then 6, and then add a 0, and there you have it. 43,560 square feet in one acre. You will have to memorize that. And you can check yourself with the 4356, and everybody can remember 711. So there we are. Uh, you need to know this, and you will have to know this on the state test. All right. Measures and terms associated with government survey system. A check. A square 24 miles on each side created by intersecting guide meridians and correction lines. Used to adjust the grid pattern of squares because of the curvature of the earth. A check contains 16 townships. A township is a square of land 6 miles on each side, or 6 miles square, containing 36 square miles, which equates to 36 sections. Uh, one section is 1 square mile. A township tier is an east-west strip of land north and south of the baseline. A section is a square that is one mile on each side containing one square mile or 640 acres. A quarter section is 160 acres. Historically, it was an area of land originally granted to a homesteader used today to establish the limits of a homestead property outside the boundaries of a municipality. Government lot, a fractional piece of land less than a full quarter section located along the banks of a lake or a stream. Government lots were identified by specific lot numbers which became the legal description for that parcel. Each township is further divided into 36 sections. A section is one mile square or 640 acres. Sections are numbered in a S pattern starting in the upper right hand corner or the northeast corner of a township with section number one. The sections are then numbered consecutively to the west through section six, then wrap around in an S pattern, right to left, left to right, right to left, and so on. This method is repeated until section number 36 is reached in the southeast corner of every township. Take note in writing a legal description of a section 
The standard sequence is to write the section number first, the township tier number and direction next, and the range number and direction last. For example, section 36, township 1 south, range 1 west. In locating a section in a description that reads all of section 36, consider how sections are numbered. Section 36 cannot be anywhere but in the lower right hand corner of the township. Well, we have come to the end of the second section of our video series. Please join me in the next video where we have animated the subdivision of a section from 640 acres down to 2.5 acres and we explain the lot and block system. We'll see you there.